Okay, what I want to do in this short video is just give you a quick demonstration on how to use the Firefox web browser to go out on the internet, search for resumes, and pull them back and, and, and get these resumes with relative ease. Now, when you're looking at the Firefox web browser, you may be thinking to yourself, well, what is really different here? I mean, it does kind of look like Internet Explorer. I mean, well, what is so different? Well, they actually have what they call add-ons to Firefox. And in Firefox, these add-ons um, can be put under your tools menu here, for instance, such as down the mall. And this can help you with doing different searches and bookmarking and just grabbing resumes and just doing all sorts of neat little tricks. Now, for recruiting and internet sourcing, I mean, it's almost as if Down the Mall was created just for that niche sector, just for recruiters and just for internet sourcers. And let me show you how. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick demonstration on how to do Boolean searching and how to use Down the Mall and how you peel back those resumes. So up in the top here, I have a just a uh, you know, just a search command I put together in title resume in URL resume engineer ASP.net in Seattle what I mean here is in the title of every document that Yahoo pulls back it's gonna have a resume listed in the title every URL that's listed that's in the search is also gonna have the word resume keywords inside the documents inside those resumes are engineer ASP.net and Seattle. We're hoping to find people in Seattle that are engineers and who have ASP.net experience. Let's go ahead and hit the web search and see where we see where it takes us. Okay, so it pulls back 133 results. First thing you're going to want to do is scroll all the way to the bottom, make sure that you did get all the results. Okay, in this results we did not. We only received 87. So what you want to do here is that actually there's a repeat the search with omitted results tab. Make sure that you see this and click this every time to make sure that you get everything. Okay, so what we did now is we did that and you can see that it does pull back all 133. Let me show you that you only get 100 uh, in your max search results per page. So what you do is you click over to the second page, scroll down and you can see that there's all 133. Now getting back to the first page here, you can see that there are a lot of really good results that were pulled back. You can see there's a lot of resume, Seattle, you can see inside here, uh, .net, you can see that ASP.net, you can see that there's a lot of good results here. You know, just clicking through on the first one to give you an example, here's James Van Vuren. Click on him. Okay, here's James. You can see he's in Seattle. You can see that he certainly has experience with .net technologies and you can just kind of scroll through and just kind of check that out. Now, what you're going to want to do here is, when well, you're thinking to yourself, hey, how can I grab these resumes without having to print them off one by one, or, you know, perhaps, you know, clicking on each individual link and saving them? I mean, that's very time consuming, right? So there's a tool, there's an add on tool called Down the Mall. What you want to do is go under the tools menu, click Down the Mall, and click the button. That pulls up the Down the Mall box. You want to enlarge that. And over here, you can see that all the different results are pulled back. Now, you got to be careful because these little boxes right here are different because they're just, well, just little, like, graphical boxes. I mean, it really peels back everything under down the mall. It peels back the graphics and the text and things like that. You're going to look for either the Internet Explorer logo or under the description, you're going to look for ones that say resume. So we want this one. So you're going to click on that. Here's another one, resume. Click that one. Here's one that's obvious. It's got a name listed, Rob, also with resume. So you're going to click on that. Another one, technical resume, Scott. Click on that one. And you can see that there's a bunch here. You just kind of click through a couple just to show you some examples. This only takes but a couple of clicks, and it just really just a couple of minutes. So we're grabbing all these. Okay. And I, you can see I normally skip over those. Um, okay, so we got a couple to you know, really show you from. So you got those selected. Those are the ones you want. Down at the bottom, you select a, uh, a destination where you want to put them in. I've actually designated a folder on my desktop, which is titled Resumes-Internet. These are all the resumes I've peeled back from Internet searches. Okay, That's easy enough to do. You just go to your desktop. You use your right-click button. 
you create a new folder, you put a name on it, very simple stuff. Okay, we have all these results, we have our destination, we're going to hit the start button. Here we go. Down them all, just really just peels them all back real quick. Just putting them right in your folder. And look at that. What did that take? Just a couple of seconds? And there you go. So you have 10 resumes, you have them all in your search box, uh, you have them all in your, your excuse me, your, your, your folder on your desktop. And there they are for you. From there, you can either go in and look at them one by one. You can recruit. You can resource them. You can do what you want. Run email campaigns from there. I mean, the possibilities are endless. Um, you can even grab a desktop search tool and search on them from there. But you can see the possibilities here. I mean, you can literally grab thousands of resumes in just a fraction of the time that it would take you. So you're really building up your own little personal database there. That concludes a little presentation. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.